Hello and welcome everybody, it's your boy Sensei Humor back again with another One Piece chapter review, but this week we're doing chapter 990, yes, and this is me with Quit Stallings Otaku Cast, and you know, I got the One Piece shirt on today, it's the only thing that's going to keep me company, unfortunately, our first mate, our Nakama couldn't be here today, Wancho, he is out, still sick as well, but hopefully next week he's back and ready, and we're probably going to do like a, a top devil fruit, you know, video for you guys, if not, there's something else you would like to see, please let us know in the comments below, speaking of comments guys, if you have any feedback, anything you'd like us to talk about, other than One Piece, it could be anything you'd like, just let us know in the comments and we will try to do that as best we can, we read the comments guys, so please go ahead and do that now if you're new here i want to first say welcome to the to the otaku crew we don't have a name for the for the fans that maybe chat you can or maybe comment you guys can help us out i'd appreciate it but what we basically do is we go pay by page and kind of review it talk about what's happening throw some theories here and there you know of course we got to do that right we're, we're all fans and nerd we love it we're weebs <laughs> but uh but yeah so i'm just gonna dive right into it guys and before I go into that, I'm just going to say the following text and images that I'm going to be showing to you guys have been edited to, of course, prevent copyright and all arts owned by respective companies. And of course, you guys, if you haven't read the full story, the official translation is out on viz.com. Please check it out. I highly recommend it. So without further ado, let's get right into it, shall we? We're going to start off with the cover page. And oh, man, I love this. You got Lola. Lola and Chiffon, they're finally bringing him up. They're bringing Beg up. Beggy. I always get that mixed up, mixed up. They're finally bringing him up. They're bringing up their dad. They 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 recognize, they said, you know what? Our mother said, our father's a clingy man. He will never give up. And I love it. It's a very happy picture. I'm happy for him, man. He's just been running, chasing these guys for a couple chapters now. And I'm, I'm finally happy he's able to reunite. I'm really excited to see where the story goes. And as I always mention every week, it, it's... It's such a great side story to be attached to other than what's going on, you know, in the manga. So I love it. But uh, yeah, let's go right into the next page here. So page two and three. All right. So page two and three here. We're going to start off. It, it, you see uh, a, a back kind of wide shot of Onigashima and the skull. And you see in the bottom left corner where it seems Big Mom used her Elbalf spear. It says, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's Sasaki and he's free. And you kind of wonder what's going on. You kind of look at the pictures here. It, it seems that Big Mom's attack literally took this tree completely apart. All you really see there is the trunk. And there's kind of conversation going on. And, you know, he, he's talking about how he's shocked that Denjiro is, was a traitor, you know. And it, it looks like they're kind of setting up this fight for later. So it seems like that's what's going to happen. This tree, though, looks massive. I don't know if it's just the angle it was drawn at, but... Man, that just show that just goes to show the strength of Big Mom's attacks, guys. So, and I I, I believe one of the reviewers, I believe it was Sawyer, called it a couple weeks ago that the attack where it hit looks like where Sasaki was trapped. So, good call. If it wasn't him, I I apologize, but I know someone called it, and that, I thought that was pretty cool. Panned onto the next page there, and man, Kaido is still there, towering over the battlefield, and he's he's just watching. You know, it's crazy. He's just looking over everyone. He hasn't done a thing yet from what it seems, you know, from what we're seeing right now, he's just standing there in his dragon form, just kind of looking down and it's kind of, it's, it's scary. I know I mentioned last week, guys, that when we get back up, back up here, I thought everyone's gonna be dead. Uh, well, not everyone's gonna be dead, but defeated for the most part. And it's more or less kind of what's happening. It, it goes on to the next two pages and, they're they're all fighting, and it seems like the thing that I'm happy with with what I'm reading and seeing is that there's not one side that looks like they're losing. I guess you could say we all know in the beginning, Jack was like, "You guys just have to hold our ground." You know, these Sulongs aren't gonna last long. We just have to fight it out, and I assume that's why Jackson his his mammoth form, which is what you see on page four and five. And he has, he's beaten up a little bit. He's not, you know, unscathed. They're not doing it with no problem. They're, each side looks like they're having problems or they're, they're just equally trading bodies, I guess you could say. Jack has swords in his trunk and you see Su Long's falling left and right. And then it pans to Conjuro and he's, he's holding the sword and he's, 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 or, did I say Conjuro? I'm sorry guys, Kinemon. Kendra, I just made like a, a ship 
<laughs> I just made up my own chip. <laughs> Kinemon is about to go into the fight, it looks like. He looks a little scathed, too. So, it looks like he's about to charge Jack. He kind of can see him taking down their forces a little bit. And then you you have Neko and Dogstorm, like, hold on. Like, hey, hold on, hold on. You know what? The, the, let, let us handle this. Which I like. Um, kind of kind of sad to see that they're still in, like, a shadow form. You can't see fully what they look like. I don't know if Oda's trying to surprise us for next chapter or, <clears throat> excuse me, a, a later reveal but i want to see what they look like I was, i'm so excited to see this and i did mention last week you know it obviously it this is the fight that needed to happen these two need to fight jack it's 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 only right you know he he took down their whole village and and he did so much damage to their tribe and i'm really excited to see how this fight out fight plays out and you just the last you see is them both is charging you know kind of like the ikaze moment so i'm excited to see where that leads that Cuts off completely on the next page. Now we're on the performance stage. And you see King flying into where it seems Queen's at. A little confusing as you see a couple of birds in the sky. It looked like a lot more in the last panel. I don't know. Oda, may maybe they flew and dispersed. And maybe some went up to help Kaido. I don't know. Just kind of weird that that last panel was such a, a bigger shot than normal. And it's kind of just done with. But nonetheless... King's flying down, meets with the queen, and you know they have their little, the little debacles they usually do the, the you know little tit for tat going on, and Queen's just like, man, even he a girl's down there, like he's he's just confused. He's like, all these prisoners were in Udon, everything was accounted for. Here you have Luffy leading the charge. What the hell's going on? And you you think that King is a little sympathetic for the most part in the beginning. He's like, you know what, I'm not even gonna blame you this time. You're just worthless from the beginning. <laughs> kind of pulls it. I love it. And, and this reminds me of like a sibling kind of a uh, rival, you know, uh, or even you can compare it to Zoro and Sanji, but obviously Zoro and Sanji are really like face to face, literally arguing at each other. But I love this. It, it's, it's great to see, you know, even the bad guys have their, their funny moments, but I'd like to talk about this panel a little more, which follows after that. And you have queen wondering what Baba Nuki like how he's wondering what happened. And I don't know if Oda's doing this intentionally, but for me, I, I kind of like it because I feel like they're they're zoning in on to Otama and her Kiwi Dango fruit ability. Um, and as we all know, if she shoots it in one of the mouths or if it gets in there somehow, they, they have to listen to her. And sorry, I had something weird in my mouth there. They had um, they have to obey her and that's what happened, right? So I, I feel like he's highlighting this to maybe make us remember that this is going to play a key part later in the Straw Hats gaining momentum in the war, or in the raid, excuse me, which I really would like to happen. I've, I've said before, I thought it'd be really cool if maybe she prepared a pouch for, like, Usopp or something with some Kibi Dango, and, you know, he just takes the Kabuto and starts shooting him in the mouth of numbers and gifters and, you know, upping, you know, kind of like a, like a Game of Thrones thing, you know, just take the enemy and make it your own, right? But we'll see. I, I like that kind of going back to the Udon situation. So uh, but let's move on from there. You move on to Drake and you have Hawkins there sitting there. Hawkins has his cards out, you know, trying to figure out what's going on. And they're, they're kind of chatting. And I like this conversation, you know, he's kind of saying, hey, you know, Hawkins, you, you didn't, this is not by accident. You were kind of forced to join Kaido's crew. It's not like you wanted to be a part of it, you know? And Hawkins is, I feel like he's kind of, this is interesting. It, it, it's, he's giving off the vibe that he's accepted that he's in the Beast Pirates crew, you know? And he's like, I'm not going to be a traitor. And then he kind of just meant, and he kind of mumbles some stuff. It says 1%. And he, then Drake's like, what are you talking about? You know? And he's like, oh, it's just, you know, I'm looking at the chances for survival of a certain man. And 1%, this is pretty crazy, guys. So this is, this is certifying that someone major is going to die. Uh, and I, I don't know. It's, it could be, it could be Luffy. I think it'd be really stupid if it was Luffy. The main characters in animes or in mangas don't die, guys. I just don't think if it, it could be, you know, I, I it could just be one of those things like, oh, he had a 1% chance and he lived, but we all kind of knew that. I think it could be, I want to say that it might be law, but I don't know. I feel like, you know, he's seen Law enough. I feel like him and Law have something going on, like a, a secret alliance behind the scenes. Because, you know, last we saw, Chaw had or Law had him chopped up. And 
So I don't know. I, I think it'd be kind of weird to see him. I, I'm actually... I'm actually worried for Sanji a little bit, and I'll, I'll get into that later. But it'd be kind of weird if if Hawkins just all of a sudden thought of Sanji. So that's why I don't think it is. But anyways, I I don't th I don't think it's Luffy. Could be Kaido. It, and you know, we know it's a man. I was gonna say Big Mom, but he says certain man, and Drake later affirms sucks to be him. So I'm assuming could be Yamato. To be honest, that could be another possibility. So anyway, so you have King reaching out and he's like hey guys you know the situation is different we have this big raid happening on us this is probably the biggest shame in the history of onigashima right now and he's like you know what and from now on whoever captures your motto doesn't have a right to challenge any one of the performers so they're they're more on like let's let's call off our differences we need to we need to settle this we need to make this right we need to fix everything that's going on right now and i, I like this because right now it's turning in the manga right a lot of straw hats have had the momentum. Things have been going their way, which is why I stated last week. I think something's going to happen bad or it's leading up. And I think this is the start, right? They're all they all asserted now. King is telling everybody, guys, he's basically saying, you got to get our shit together. We got to get this back on track. So we might be seeing a lot more devastating stuff coming up. But nonetheless, let's pan to the next panel here. You got, you got an old T. And yeah, Pei Pei, oh man, I, I'm i happy this happened because last week was kind of weird. You had Yamato and Ulti were apparently fighting, but all of a sudden Yamato was gone. So that that kind of question, like, I was like, what, what the hell happened to that fight? But she mentions here that, oh, Yamato climbed the wall and and now you have to give me a piggyback. And you know, that there's also another like sibling kind of argument here. I love it. It's, it's so cool to kind of have these great moments with the bad guys. I, I just got to say, I love how Oda does that. So. It's nice to see that side of the, of the of the, the villains, as you will, right? And King's kind of like, you guys shut up, all right? Shut up, you brats. All right, this is serious. And then they both kind of yell at King. Don't call us brats. So pretty funny. And King is basically saying here, so Kaido's on the roof and Luffy's crew, the enemy, is trying to get up there. And, you know, we, we have to do whatever we can to stop them. And I like what King sing, says here. He says, don't underestimate them. So I really like this. For the Straw Hat progression, you know, King, King, the first mate of Kaido's crew is saying, we can't underestimate these crews. You know, it's not like it's going to be a walk in the park. They're literally certifying that the strength of Luffy's crew is something to not be underestimated, which I really appreciate and like. You know, these big, bigger ups are respecting and they're understanding the strength of their crew, right? It's, it's just a nice relief. Usually you have people laughing at Luffy. Oh, he wants to be the Pirate King? <laughs> You're stupid. They they laugh. You know, I'll, I'll one shot you kind of type vibe. But no, King's like, you know what? Don't underestimate him. We gotta stop this from happening. So I like that. I like that. And then you got who's who pans over to him and Drake, and he's like, hey Drake, you know what? Things are kind of crazy right now. So I, I want you to come with me. I want you to come and and help me kill the person I've been wanting to kill. And meanwhile, you have Hawkins in the background still doing his card ratings, you know. And who's who's like, we're going to Queen. And Drake's like, well, I, you know what, dude? I don't want to get in your little squabble. You know, I don't want to... You want to, like, lower our ranks right now? Like, really? Like, Luffy's crew has the upper hand, and this is what you want to do? And, you know, who's 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 who is kind of, like, having him around is really dragging us down. And, you know, they kind of... Drake's like, all right, you know, whatever. Let's, let's just go. Let's go see what happens. And pans down back to the performance stage. So that kind of gets left off for another panel later. And the prisoners kind of show a little bit. They're they're trying to lead the way for the straw hats, which I love. And then you have the the other side trying to hold them. So it's it's a lot of fighting going on. It's just like the fodder fight happening right now on these pages. And you see you see the numbers also still there, towering over everybody. And the prisoners are trying to take the shot. Like, all right, we need to get rid of these giants. And I like this panel because you can see the actual comparison of the size. You can see them on the on one of the numbers feet and it's or foot i should say and they're small like they're it, it's it's or size so you know it wasn't an exaggeration they mentioned it last chapter but no these things are huge right like one person is a little part of a foot and it, they're massive and i like this because it, it's like another stepping stone which which i'll get into later um 
You have the prisoners shouting to the straw hats. You guys, save your strength. We're going to clear the way for you. You need to get up to the castle. So let's, let's stay what's going on. And here comes the number is about to swing his giant mace, you know, kind of like Ky it's kind of like Kaido's mace, actually, right? And uh, <laughs> swings it down, and boom, Zoro comes and cuts it straight in half with no problem whatsoever. And, you know, even Luffy's like, don't push it, you guys. You know, so hold on, all right, all right? And, uh, you have another uh, another club coming down from the one that Zoro cut. It, it's falling down, and boom, Jinbei comes and grabs it. Now, excuse me, this is what I want to talk about before I move on to anything else. This bothers me a little bit. Not bothers me in the sense that I'm not happy for Jinbei and Zoro, but this is usually a Zoro and Sanji moment, right? Remember I mentioned earlier, I'm a little scared for Sanji. Sanji's been taking L's. For a long time. He just took an L from King. He, now he's not... Fe Usually it's Zoro and Sanji that do these two things before... You know, but now it's Zoro and, and, and Jinbei. It's weird. It's different. I don't know. It's a little... I, I'm a little worried, you guys. I don't know. It's just me. But, you know, because you pan to the next page and, and Sanji's just there smirking. He's not really doing much right now. Right now he's not. I'm just saying this could change easily in the next chapter. But... I don't know. I'm a little worried, guys. Let me know what you think about that, too, in the chat or the comments below. Thank you. Um, I appreciate it. But I, I like this. So going on, to the, speaking of the next panel, you have Luffy. You know, he's remembering. He goes, so or if those guys are supposed to be like Oars, and we just barely beat him before. Remember, Nightmare Luffy had to come out. And I kind of like this comparison because Gear 4 and Nightmare Luffy have similarities. Not completely, but they have them. They have similarities, right? And he's like, but that was so long ago. Things are so different now. And I like that. It, it's it's showing the reader, it's showing us that, you know, how much stronger they've, they've gotten, right? Gekko Moria, that was like his trump card. And they're now they're taking it down with, with ease, right? It's kind of, it, it reminds me of the, the two-year time skip when they had so much trouble with the Pacifista, right? But Zoro and Sandy literally took it out in like one shot. Same with Luffy. So I, I, I love stuff like that. You got to have the comparisons. You got to see where they've come and how and how hard they fought. But Panda here, Garo, he sees Luffy in gear four and he's in the air. Luffy goes gear four. Sorry, I apologize. Kind of totally skipped that. But and he's like, there it is again. And before I move on, this also kind of struck, get grabbed my attention, right? He or Garo says, there it is again. I don't rem I don't recall a moment where Luffy went gear four in front of here, Garo, that we've seen. I could be wrong. Chat, correct me if I am. Unless he saw, like, on the security camera before Luffy entering the prison, him fighting Kaido. But this also might be setting up. Maybe Luffy has a new four, Gear 4, like, transformation. Because uh, he might have been, he might transform into it when he was training. But anyways, just something I noticed. Uh, he, he he calls Luffy a guardian deity. So I, I think that's, I don't want to dive too much into that. It can mean a lot of things. I just think that that's an like, important key phrase. So maybe a garden deity that might be something mentioned later in the, the future chapter. So we got to keep an eye out on that, guys. Um, and you see Luffy come. He's about looks like he's about to punch the hell out of this thing, right? But then it pans back to Drake, right? And Drake is bloodied up. He's beat up, and he's like, "What's what's going on here?" And you Queen is like, I, "That's what I'd like to know." And you instantly know, like, "Oh man, they know. They know that he's a traitor. They know he's not really with the crew." And that's what they kind of figured out here, but. They kind of ask him, so we got to ask you, Drake, why did you let Law escape back at the Flower Capital? We were watching you, you know? And and you have Hawkins is kind of like, you know, I, I figured it couldn't be anyone else but you, but he wants to know what his purpose is. I think this is weird. Am I the only one that thinks this is weird? Like, well, maybe it's not weird. Maybe Drake and and Hawkins have a plan, right? Last, last we saw Drake and Hawkins together with Law, right? Like before... Was it before he chopped him up or after? I don't remember if it was before or after he got chopped up, but I do remember they met, right? They're acting like that didn't happen. It's, I don't know. It's weird, guys, but maybe it's part of their plan, so I'm not going to get too much into it. But anyways, you kind of see Drake. Okay, now I know he wanted to kill. And Queen's like, yeah, it was you, trash. So, huh, that, that's kind of interesting to see. They've been, they were kind of planning to kill Drake for a while. So, that... That's that's interesting. Very interesting. But anyways, Drake knows he's in trouble, right? Drake's like, okay, 
I, 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 I can't talk my way out of this. Like, honestly, they caught me right-handed, right? There's three people against me right now. And I got nothing else to do. So a big explosion happens. You see Drake shoot out, you know, kind of similar like when Kaido flew out like and got stabbed. But anyways, he flies out and he's transformed into his hybrid form, it looks like, right? And he's like, I, I can't. I, there's nothing. What should I do? What should I, should I run? Should I go back to the Navy? And you like, know what? No, the Navy can wait. There's still hope. And you see him flying down to the Giants, to the to, to numbers, excuse me, almost said Toby Ropo. And he's about to do a move and he does the X caliber and he just takes down one. And you see Luffy punching the other right next to him. So they're kind of, you know, eye level right now in the air, which is pretty sick. And, and then you basically see if there's any hope left and, or sorry, Drake's thinking, you know, he, all the all these things are playing in his head. And he's like, you know, I still have hope. Should I run back to the Navy? And then he's like, if there's any hope left. And he remembers. He remembers Kobe. And he's like, trust me, Luby's amazing. I love this. You know? This is just like, that's more more people for Luffy's crew, man. And Kobe's saying that at his rank, you know? He's not saying Luffy's a pirate we need to capture. No. Luffy's amazing. Right? I love this. The guy who's trained under Garp, who, like regrettably says his biggest regret is that Luffy became a pirate. Right. And he's saying that Luffy's amazing. I love this anyways. And you see Drake yelling at Luffy, like Luffy, you know, I'm, I'm alone right now. I want to join you. Please let me join you. And Luffy does this little, huh? which I love, but this is funny. So this is pretty cool. The two supernovas, two of the supernovas are going to, are going to team up. And I, Oh man, I think this is just, it's just a start. I, I mentioned last week, you guys, Check it out if you haven't. I definitely said that it's only logical that Luffy, Kid Law, and possibly Drake go up and take down Kaido. I definitely thought, and I'm sure you all did, thought Drake would join later. Maybe I thought he was going to call Marines and maybe, you know, it would be like an even bigger scale fight, but no. So it's a lot earlier than I thought, and it's pretty awesome. I, I can't wait to see, and I, I like this, man. It's. It just shows you, man. Luffy can just pull the the cra the craziest people together to fight with him, man. And like they've always said, that's Luffy's biggest strength, right? He's, he's able to gather everyone around in a fight with him. And he and look, Drake just he didn't even think about it. He's like, you know what? I'm fighting with him. So I love it. Anyways, guys, that was chapter 990. Unfortunately, he's gonna be on a break next week. Ah, this kind of sucks. But you know what? Give us a little bit to take to take in what happened. I love it. I love it. It's a pretty big. A pretty big event if the either way you look at it so it's pretty cool and i can't wait to see what what drake's full potential is you know we haven't seen them fight in a while so i'm really excited but let me know what you thought about this chapter review let us know in the comments below guys if you like this please give us a like subscribe we really appreciate it if you want to comment below like i said in the beginning of this video what you'd like for us to talk about any theories any specific fights you want us to get into even if it's not One Piece related, let us know, guys. We really appreciate it. So until then, we will see you guys next week, if not the next week after that for sure. This has been your boy, Sensi Humor, with another One Piece review. And I will see you guys next week. You know what that means. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun.